Each episode, four strangers. I'm just here to be authentic, and if you don't like it, everyone can't have great taste. Are dropped into the wild. I am afraid of everything in the jungle. Oh my god! A scorpion, bro. I am sick to my stomach. They must work together to win $100,000. Being a single parent, the money would make a huge difference in my life. But there's a problem. One of them is a snake. You're acting like you're trying to win everything. I see you, snake. I'm not the snake. I am not the snake. I'm not the snake. I am not the snake. I'm not the snake. Can you spot the snake? Lions don't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. Hey, Jeff, how's it going, buddy? Bobby, greetings from Las Vegas. Thanks for joining me today to talk about your new series, Snake in the Grass, on the USA Network. I appreciate you having me on. All right, Bobby, four players dropped in the wild for 36 hours with a chance to win $10,000. What are some of the challenges the players are facing? I think the first challenge is they have to figure out what's going on because they don't know why they're there. You know, they have been uh, told, hey, we're looking for people to be on some sort of treasure hunt jungle show. And so a lot of people just jump at the chance to get on TV. And when they arrive on camera and meet me, that's when they are finding out for the first time they're playing a game and just trying to find the liar. Now, that's three of them. One of them already knows because they were told the night before. So even the snake doesn't really know what they're doing until they get there. So then it's they're, they're, they're in a pressurized situation for basically two days. And in that, they're just trying to spot the liar. It's through physical challenges and stunts and you're winning clues, but it all comes down to the social experiment of, you know, we always think we're great judges of character. We can always tell when someone's lying to us. Like, can you really? When, when times are hard, can you really? And so at the end, if the team can agree who the liar is, snake, and they're right, they win 100000 bucks. They split it all up. If they don't, if the snake's able to fool them, they win all the cash. And it is crazy when the snake actually fools everybody. Now, the snake has a chance to win all the cash as well, right? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, that's the goal. The snake has the chance to win $100,000. But they've got to keep it, – it's a harder job to be the snake. So they've got to maintain uh, their composure. They've got to cover all their lies. They've got to come up with elaborate stories and then remember the stories. And they've got to do these physical – you know, hang over a cliff, uh, be in the ocean, swim, fight a shark with just your toes. And there's all kind of – that's not a real challenge. But there's all <laughs> kind of stuff like that they've got to do at the same time. So it is very, very hard to be the snake. But if you can pull it off after two days – uh, that's where the money is. Players meet in the snake pit, and something tells me that's not a strip club. Uh, you know, I've never been to a straight strip club. I have been to a snake pit, and it, not my favorite place to be. So lot, the, some of those snakes are humongous. And the, the truth is, I know that the word snake and snake in the grass got a double meaning. But when we were in Costa Rica, and I've never been down there before, uh, they had folks walk around with us just to make sure we weren't bit by snakes. Like where we were, it was so uh, snake infested just generally that it was a little scary. So we get into the snake pit and you're almost like, I mean, it's just a pit because there are snakes everywhere anyway. But yeah, and that, that's where it all goes down. That's where the, the super tension is. That's where accusations are being thrown around. And, you know, there's, there's no buddying up. It's everybody trying to figure out and, and even do some last minute investigating on who the liar is. And they're trying to get that snake. Now, you lived in Costa Rica for a month while taping the show, so you know the beauty and the dangers of the jungle. Yeah, I mean, I lived in Costa Rica. I would say most of the dangers are at the um, like the, the, the airport hotel where I lived when I wasn't in the jungle. I mean, that's, that's the real danger. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I, if I'm being honest with you, I would stay in the jungle for 12 hours. I, I was in a tent through the day, so no AC or anything. It, long sleeves so you don't burn. It's pretty brutal. And then, you know, I'd go back to the Hilton Garden Inn, the old airport hotel, and I had a radio show to do for five hours. So I wish I could sit here and talk about how I did all these cool things in Costa Rica. But I got to pay the bills, Jeff. I got to be honest with you. But it was an awesome <laughs> show. Um, it, it looked super cool. You know, the first time I watched it, I was a little nervous. I was like, all right, what's this going to look like? Is it going to look like the other cheesy reality shows? Or is it going to be a little fresh? And they, they did such a good job with the music, how it's shot, how it's edited. And, and the producers, you know, the integrity of it was so important to them in that they didn't throw any purposeful curveballs in the editing of the show, meaning they don't lead you a direction just because they have all this tape. What they, what they have done is if the players felt it and, and it was all leaning a certain way, they, make, they, they take it that way on screen. 
And so whatever it is, if you're like, all right, the producers are pushing me to think this, not true. We're just following the players. And if the players felt this way at that point, that's what you're seeing. And some of the players are like a who's who from other reality shows, aren't they? Well, we had two episodes where that was a situation. You know, um, you know, one that aired on NBC is kind of the preview where there were three Survivor and one Naked and Afraid, and it's super cool. And I'm glad they put that on NBC because, you know, a lot of people could see, like, like some Flash, and, oh, we recognize these folks. And maybe it brings them to USA Network where the show airs every Monday night. Uh, we have one other episode with some uh, Big Brother, uh, Survivor, that type thing. Uh, but other than that, it is mostly just normal folks like you and I uh, who could use some cash and who are very strategic players through necessity because they're like, Oh, crap. This is the game. Let's go. And Bobby, in our final moments here, on behalf of KKLZ and The Morning Show with Mike and Carla, we just wanted to thank you for your contribution for our producer, Morty, in his time of need. And uh, we just want to say thank you. Oh, man, that's awesome. When I saw Morty's story, uh, you, you know, I have been in a spot where I was like him financially and, you know, figuring it out and you have a good career ahead of you. Um, and now that he's hit, uh, uh, hopefully, a temporary roadblock as he fights this disease, it, it was uh, very easy for me to jump in and just say, let me help in a, in a little way. So I appreciate you for saying that. But just thinking about Morty and, and good luck, guys. And if you need anything else, just let me know. Snake in the Grass premieres August 1st on USA Network. Thanks, Bobby. And uh, Las Vegas, thanks you. And we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Good to talk to you, Jeff. <laughs> We'll be